All right, everybody, this is Jonathan Drew and Nicaraguan Pedro. And we're taking a little break from our Stranahan's Moment over here, which is a fantastic distillery in Colorado that I enjoyed very much. Rob, our host and master distiller, just got to give compliments to him. I haven't been on YouTube in a little while. I've been taking care of a lot of personal and business things, and I figured we'd take a few minutes to kind of touch base with everybody. And just say that there's some really exciting things going on with Drew Estate that some of you guys are aware of, but I wanted to bring to your attention. That the Nika Rustica, a lot of people have been asking about it, and the Nika Rustica is going to start hitting stores around the first day or so of November. We'll be shipping it into the United States in the middle of October. So after we're done quality checking it and proofing it here in Miami, we'll be shipping it out in November. So keep your eye open for the Nika Rustica. Many of you are going to see this box in the store in the 50 count big box, but they're actually sold in these packets like this. Each big box comes with two of them. So you'll see them presented like this, the Nika Rustic and what we call a Maso, M-A-Z-O. So you'll be able to buy them in the 25 count, you'll be able to buy them in the double 50, and of course individually. And as you guys know, this product, Nika Rustica, is a tribute product from Drew Estate because the people of Esteli, what I consider the birth of Drew Estate, where we really started. And uh, for us, it's a, it's a huge honor to be able to compliment back the people of Nicaragua, not just the Boncheros, the Roleros, the people who are involved at the factory level, but the entire city. And, you know, Pedro is here. Pedro and I have worked together for the last seven and a half, eight years in Nicaragua. And now Pedro's handling a new position here in the United States, which is basically factory rep, factory spokesman. And uh, I was just thinking about asking you on film, how do the people in Nicaragua and Esteli, how do they view what we've done with Nica Rustica? All right, well, first of all, my name is Pedro Gomez. I'm from Esteli, Nicaragua. And when we found out that Drew Estate was using this logo, we were thrilled, man. Like, wow, man, that's very cool because a lot of people from Esteli, when they see the logo, we represent ourselves with El Brujito, which is the name of the, of the symbol. And it was really nice that Drew Estate is bringing this and it's taking the symbol, the Esteli symbol, to a whole different level. So, thank you so much, John, and thank you everybody in Drew Estate. Hey, just one other thing there, uh, Nicaraguan Pedro Gomez. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting because in Managua, even in Managua, everybody knows the shaman, what you call El Brujito. Right. Everybody knows this logo. Mm -hmm. So this logo, I mean, this is not something that is uh, a symbol in Nicaragua for, you know, 50 years or 70 years. How many years back do you think the, the Brujito goes back oh, in Nicaragua? Actually, you know, in 1984, the mayor of Esteli was looking for a symbol that would represent the city. Because in every city in Nicaragua, we have a little thing, you know, here and there that represent every city. But in 1984, the mayor of Esteli chose the symbol to represent Esteli as a city. So this symbol was a petroglyph that has been around for hundreds of years. So everything started in the pre-Columbian area. Uh, Pre-Columbian era. That's right, you got it right. And, and pretty much the, the petrograph was found in a rock, and the rock was in Esteli, where actually the, the city is. And now it's in the era of Drew. So here, a couple <laughs> other things. We've got the Cigar Dojo shirt on right here, which, you know, shout out to the Dojo guys. We're a big supporter of Dojo. You can catch them on their app. Uh, download the app, it's free, it's a great community of people, great community of cigar smokers. Uh, second thing I wanted to mention, since we were in the yellow effect today, you know what I'm saying? That's right, yeah. That we would mention the new Drew Estate pipe tobacco has just started hitting the stores, and uh, it's pretty cool to see the response from a lot of the really hardcore pipe smokers, because this first release from Drew Estate was mostly aromatic blends, and I was just a little thoughtful in terms of how the pipe community would be would would vision first of all Drew Estate entering the pipe tobacco area that segment and secondly because it was aromatic I was also be a little bit conscientious to make sure that the people would like it so you know good news is that we're getting a great response to it and finally before we light up some Nico Rusticas over here I wanted to say that anybody who's in the New York metro area um, on Facebook, you could reach out to Juan Cancel and find out about the New York and New Jersey uh, Port Authority Hispanic Society dinner and event that we're doing in Manhattan. 
You're going to get eight cigars for free. It's a uh, bunch of drinks, all sorts of liquors and beers and stuff that they have there. So reach out to Juan Cancel if you want to be part of the Port Authority Police Association dinner that we're doing to benefit uh, urban kids in New York and New Jersey who, who need a hand. So it's something that we're very proud of that we're doing.